Hello everyone, I am Marie from Connect and this is Sharif and Choha and today we're gonna go to Lottemart because they are gonna teach me or show me how to cook amazing samgyeopsal. So let's yes. go, let's Get go to Lottemart. Yeah, let's go. For the ingredients of the day, we stopped by the nearest Lottemart at Seoul station. And this one is amazing because it's one of the biggest. It's huge, has two floors, and you can find all kinds of products. So this is like um, some good looking samgyeopsal. But why do they cut it like this? So like, they cut it like this so that it can get more crispy. When you're baking it? Yeah. So like, you get like crunchy edges inside there, which is more surface area. Uh, these are oyster mushrooms, I think. Okay. Peppers. It's common to see the stuff promoting sales and products, but of course, don't feel pressured to buy anything. We got some greens, like perilla leaves, to wrap pork belly with. And of course, samjang, which is a thick, spicy taste for the samgyeopsal. Lotte Mart is big enough to have self-checkouts, and that's what we used to save some time. These machines have multiple language options, which makes it very easy to navigate for foreigners. We recommend getting a Lotte card because it gives you discounts, and we always say yes to discounts. There are plastic or paper bags available for a small fee, but to be eco-friendly, I decided to just use my backpack. We were so hungry that day, so we started prepping our $30 ingredients as soon as we got home. But first, Sharif and Choha shared some of their homemade banchan, and you can find the recipe on their channel. And of course, a little bit of beer never hurts. And this one was special, and it was just so delicious. Mm. Can't have Korean barbecue without beer. Belgian beer. <laughs> With a little bit of alcohol in us, we asked Sharif how he ended up living in Korea. Um, I was trying to get out of the life of cooking. I never went to culinary school and I never ran my own kitchen that was like my restaurant. So I don't really call myself a chef. But I was a cook for 10 years. I mostly did Italian and pizza. And I was not trying to have that life the rest of my life. My initial goal was like to come here for like one year and then go somewhere else, Vietnam, Thailand, wherever. And I got stuck and I love it. Like most people here. Yeah. yeah. I got married. So, <laughs> so I'm a lucky man now and I got a beautiful place here and I'm comfortable. Did you have any like big culture shocks when you came to Korea? I didn't have any culture shocks because before I came to Korea, I basically spent my pastime watching Korean vlogs. I watched everything. I, I, watched, I know all about food before I came here, the cultural things about eating and drinking, two hands, yada, yada, yada. So I didn't really have a culture shock. Even not in like work environment? Um, so I find myself happy and lucky to be a teacher because I was a cook for 10 years and that was hard work. And now I don't have to sweat at my job anymore. So it's easier? Yeah, in my opinion, yes. Mentally, it's tough. You come home and you're mentally exhausted, but I'm not physically exhausted. So it's a different, different kind, kind of kind exhaustion. Of And just like that, we were ready to grill some samgyeopsal. We started with onions and oyster mushrooms, and then we seasoned them with pepper and moved on to samgyeopsal. Oh, just look at that juicy quality meat. This is American style, putting the salt on while you're cooking. You don't really see it in Korea. Like, they don't put the, Oh, they have it at the side yeah, when you're eating? In the chunggyeo. Mm -hmm. We seasoned the pork belly with some pepper and had some good conversations as well. 
Once one side got brown and crispy, we turn them over. Cook, cook break. And we finished off with some not so spicy green peppers. Using scissors for food in Korea is pretty common, which can be handy for home barbecue. Last but not least, we prepared some green onion salad to go along with the samgyeopsal as well as samjang, the spicy paste. And there we are with a table full of delicious food. You can always have the pork belly on its own, but it's also delicious with a wrap. I personally like my wrap to be small so I don't spill anything. Even though we started going straight away for the samgyeopsal, we were still curious and asked Sharif what it's like exploring food or machips in Korea. You kind of learn as you go. Mm. Um, like the old machips, you, you realize how special they are when like the ajama treats you like their son right, and they give right. you a bite and they put it in your mouth or like no you're eating it wrong like you gotta use it this way this way and that way they always taught you how to eat it yeah it really like, feels special and for some reason yeah. when you go as a foreigner to mm. one of these old places they might treat you a little bit different mm. because uh -huh. they know that you're new to korea right. mm. you know what's the most memorable machi you've been to? They're all so different. Um, well, I have a one place. You do? Mm. The Sotokang place in mm. Wonju, really like it because... Wood fire mm. Sangipsal. Mm. And the, 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 the whole family runs it. And that's the first time we tried the fried tofu with the Sangipsal, so it's kind of the new experience. Well, mm. also for you. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. It's so weird because with Korea, we like to go to some eating some pasta or some western food but with foreigners, they wanted to like uh, find out some nokumachi, like old place that we rarely go this day so I kind of more enjoy to discover some old place with him Yeah. One thing that she always says when we go to like travel around Korea mm. like, I feel like I'm overseas <laughs> <laughs> You feel like a, you're a tourist in your own country? Yeah! But isn't that cool? Really cool, mm. I really love it. So, this day I always mention it on our channel, but I feel like I can find the new beauty of the Korea. So, sometimes it's really like touch my feeling, I really love it. So, mm. yeah, I feel like I love my Korea more. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. We hope you enjoyed watching us eat this beautiful. Samgyeopsal and don't forget to check out their YouTube channel. How can they find you? Fubali travels on everything. On everything? Mm -hmm. Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, uh, no not Twitter, TikTok. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? You're I just started. <laughs> Go and check them out. Go and give them all the likes, subscribes, thumbs up and don't forget if you have any comments or questions let us know in the comment section below and we hope to see you again next time. Bye! Thanks! Bye -bye. <laughs> Just by yourself? Yeah, sure. Like this? Yeah. No, it'll be good. Just take a bite. That's no, 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 no. I, I don't like making yeah, people I feel pain, so yeah. I think you might like these. Yeah. It's not spicy. Yeah. <laughs> did it just hit you? <laughs> as soon as she did it. <laughs> That's really spicy. Oh, really? Oh, baby, I think we turned the spicy.